Lindsay, with a two-week layoff like this, obviously that's kind of a rare thing. Uh, what did you have to do to kind of get refocused and, and re-prepared for this game after so far away? Uh, I mean, I think we just practiced and focused on the little things and kind of just uh, focusing on the basics and doing what we do and not worrying about the other team, kind of just getting back to what we do in practice. And then it, is, is that when, when you talk about getting back to what we do in practice, um, do you think that helped to kind of have this extended practice period where you yeah. didn't have to worry about necessarily playing games, but yeah. just got a chance to work on some of the things that maybe weren't going so well? Yeah, I think it was good. Um, I think we just got a lot of time to uh, work, and we had a great week of practice, a lot of intensity, and you could just tell we had a different level of focus, and we were, we were ready to go, so I think it did help. And then um, moving forward in this tournament, obviously it's it's a long tournament if you guys make it uh, as far as you're hoping to make it, yeah. I'm sure. Um, how do you kind of keep going, keep the keep the momentum that you started in this game moving forward? I think just having a one game at a time mentality and having that chip on our shoulder. Um, I mean, obviously our goal is to win the win the uh, tournament, so just going at it one game at a time. Lindsay, how would you compare this team? You know, you, you've recently gone through a bunch of conference games, but so it's been a while since you played a non-conference opponent. How would you rank, you know, this team as as compared to some of the other teams you faced this season? Um, I mean, I, I don't know, because like, we talk about it a lot, just focusing on what we do. But I mean, obviously, they're a great team. We, we, were, just, we were just aggressive, and we took them out of what they wanted to do. And we, were, uh, we played really well on offense, so that's what they're. Yeah, you held them to 17 points in the first half. What was working on defense? Because that, you know, that was some of the best defense that you guys have played all year. What, what was really working? What did you focus on heading into this game? I think we were aggressive. Um, we really kind of attacked them and dictate, dictated to them. We didn't let them get the shots that they wanted for the most part. So, And, uh, you know, a, a big scoring day for you. Um, what does that mean in, in a postseason performance, in, in, in postseason play, your, your first postseason game? Um, it means I'm going to go do it again on Sunday afternoon. Yeah. A big scoring day, like you said, but yeah. also four assists. Uh, and it seemed like that's been – uh, a little bit more of a consistent part of your game these last couple yeah. of weeks. Has that been something that you've been focused on as this um, season? I mean, I know teams are keying in on me, so I know when I come off ball screens or when I'm trying to get to the rim, a lot of teams are coming to uh, double, so I know somebody's going to be open on the weak side. All right. Yeah. Maybe one more. Talk, so talk a little bit about um, playing with the lead because you, you know, a lot of times, or some of the games this season, you know, you've played from a hole, but but playing from ahead basically the entire game. What what is that like? How does that change the the chemistry on the court? How does that change the feeling um, during the game? Um, I think it changes a lot because when we start off well, we set the tone, mm -hmm. and it's easier for us to keep our foot on the gas pedal and continue out continue that through the game. So I think it really helps us a lot when we start from the jump.